Law enforcement officers are tasked with maintaining order and upholding the law. But what happens when they overstep their bounds and target the wrong individuals? Just like this officer who faced repercussions for bullying and ordinary citizens who ultimately turned the tables on him. You never hear you got a call for a suspicious vehicle, okay? So, someone passed her by or whomever called said it was a white vehicle sitting along the power lines. So. I'm sitting on the power lines. I'm sitting on a public street. What's that? I'm sitting on a public street minding my business. That's okay. all I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, well, we got a call for a suspicious vehicle. We're just checking on said uh, vehicle. Are you the owner of the car, sir? I'm sorry, I'm not going to answer any questions. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Can I get a badge number? It's uh, 37. And his name? Sergeant Brian Gilmore. Brian Gilmore, okay. Would you oh. like to speak to him as well? No, thank you. Okay. I just want to mind my business, man. People drive by here, uh, see me parked here, doing nothing Fifth wrong. Amendment right not talk to us. Yes. I'm not doing anything illegal, right? They're really just okay. parked in a public street. That's right. <clears throat> okay, well. Just because somebody caught in a suspicious car mm -hmm. doesn't mean you're doing anything illegal. Did they specifically identify something illegal that I was doing? Was okay. I, tres was so I trespassing? At this, point, at this point, the reason we're requesting the identification sure. is number one, we need to identify everybody we talk to. It's part of our routine. Here's some crucial background. People are typically free to refuse to answer questions without facing immediate jail time under the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. It seems like our officials here have forgotten everything about that. If people saw my channel, perhaps they would have a better understanding of effective law enforcement practices. It's accepted and it's it's something that's been it's been a, it's been approved by the Supreme Court. It's not the been state, it's and been the United been, States Supreme Court. It's not been approved by any Supreme Court. Okay, all right. Well, unless you, can you have reasonable disagree all you want, but just because you think so doesn't Unless you have reasonable suspicion of a crime. Okay. Well, I don't have to provide any ID, sir. But you're a, you're on one of our streets in our town. In order for you to leave, who's, you're going to have to be legally able to drive. Who this pays car. who's pays for these streets, sir? Excuse me? Who pays for the street? Upper Chichester Township. The township, right? The yep. people. It's a taxpayer funded street, right? Mm -hmm. And I, that means I can park here, I can travel through here also. I can stop on the streets. It's not illegal for me to do that. In your investigation, what have you concluded that I've done that's that I have illegal? somebody that's refusing to provide an And that's not illegal. Am I, it is am I under arrest? Sir. Under the vehicle code? Am I required. under arrest? Huh? You're not you may be and we'll have to find so that are out. Are you threatening me with arrest? Am I threatening you? No, I am not threatening you. This individual must have dealt with self proclaimed know it alls previously too. Sir, well conduct your job. I'm not providing any ID because I didn't commit any crimes. You don't need to commit a crime yes, for you us do. to ask you to yes, provide you ID. Do. Yes you do. Yes you do. You need RAS. Without RAS there's no probable cause. Okay, Is that illegal? Do you, can, can you just come here and identify me? They didn't say we're a punk flamingo either. So well, that's, that's fine. Thrill, but I'm not providing any ID. Where do we go from here? I didn't do anything illegal. You're threatening me with arrest. I'm telling you that you need to provide identification. You're I'm part not of providing any investigation. I'm you are not, required. Do your investigation. Go and talk to the person who called and find out what I did that was illegal. Talk to them. Do your investigation. Do a thorough investigation. You just don't come here and talk to me. Talk to You're them, the see what there. I did. Because they called to talk to them. I didn't do anything wrong. You're not going to force me to identify. Did didn't do wrong, but sir. do an investigation to see I if I did anything wrong. And in the state of Pennsylvania, yes. if you're in a, operating a motor vehicle, which is what you're doing. I'm not operating a motor vehicle. You I'm absolutely parked. are. I'm parked on a public street. You're in command and control of the vehicle. I'm parked on a public if street. If you are under the influence of alcohol or another drug, I can arrest you for DUI, but I'm you're not. I'm parked on a public street. Okay. Good. That's all I'm doing here. I'm parked on a public street. Doing nothing illegal. You're, you're not providing me the case number. That's correct. <laughs> okay, well then you're not getting any ID. Okay. What's the next step? Um, you'll probably get a citation for failure to provide driver's license. Sergeant Gilmore, finally realizing how silly his actions were, decided to do this. Can you call the dispatcher and give me this incident number? You I'd can, like to document you can stop this. At our police station, grab the incident number. So you're not providing an incident number? I don't have an incident number until I go back and do the report. I can't just pull one out of thin air. I applaud this man for being aware of his rights and refusing to be exploited. I'm not going to be surprised. I'm sorry. Sure. Hey, can I come under? Hey, do you, do you mind giving me an incident number, please? Yep. That's all I wanted. My name's Clap. Badge number is 44. Thank you, Clap. Hey, have a good one. I just want an incident number. Delivery, that's all. We because don't generate an incident number until it clears. Right. Until it clears what? Like the call? The radio system, yep. So and you're about to clear it, I would assume? You can get it tomorrow, okay. Fortunately, not all police officers are naive, and he locates another one who has the common sense to provide him with the incident number he needs. If you're bad-mouthing the last cops, wait till you see how a journalist was pushed to the ground and handcuffed while covering a news conference. <laughs> Yeah, stop. 
Uh, February 8th, 2023, a journalist was broadcasting a news conference about a train derailment in Ohio. Two state highway patrol troopers and the Ohio National Guard's Major General John Harris asked Lambert to stop his live reporting, and that's when an argument started. Major Harris argued that Lambert was being loud and disruptive, but what right does he have to boss and threaten him around? We were told to shut it down and continue to argue. Go. Go. Now. Go. Now. Or well, you can right go to jail. Here. Sir, you want to go to jail for criminal trespassing? Do you want to go to jail for criminal trespassing? Do you understand? You know me? how quickly our lawyers will get me out? I don't, we don't care. care. Sir, can we I don't talk? care. Just talk outside. Just talk outside. Just talk outside. Out the doors. Come on. Out the doors. Out the doors. Out the doors. By other media right now. I'm going to listen. I don't care. You're going to walk out the door. I'm going to listen. You're going to walk out the door. Do not touch mine out, sir. You're going to walk out the door. Because you're going to jail. Do not touch me. Sir, can we talk outside, please? I'm trying to listen. Talk outside, please. And he escalated with me. I am doing my job. I'm discovered by the First Amendment. Excuse me, sir. I'm the building supervisor yes. here. Please leave. There you have it. You're, you're no. going to stand outside. You are. No. Or you're going to jail. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Out. The journalist was in his right to do his job. He didn't do anything to warrant the treatment he got next. I'm a reporter with News Nation. And it's all being recorded right now. I hope it is. This is horrible. Work because you can't talk to people about doing their jobs. Oh my God, I cannot believe this. With it. This is horrible. This is what it's like to be a black reporter in Evan, I'm so sorry. Evan, I'm sorry. Thank you, Sia. Roll over, sir. Lambert was thrown to the ground and handcuffed. Does a major have that much authority? Afterwards, the reporter's manager came to clarify his case. Or disrespect. Hello. We had, we've been waiting for, we were up there, we've, we had a live shot scheduled to report on this at 5.15. Okay. That's locked in stone. Uh -huh. So, coincidence of all coincidence, the governor wa literally walks out at 5.15. It's the worst possible timing in the world, okay? But we can, there's nothing that we can do about that. He's, he's committed to doing his live shot. He's got people talking to him. The reason why he is where he is, he was told to leave. He refused to leave. Okay. Then the building superintendent comes over and says, I don't want you here. Okay. He still refused I, to leave. I didn't so now he's arrested. I didn't witness any. Of That's his own fault. He's arrested. Um, all he had to do I, was pipe up. I didn't. Uh, and he, he just kept all arguing. All I'm telling you is, from the television standpoint of view, I, I understand what you're just, trying to do. It's, it's I understand television. you guys have a have job just, to do. Yeah. But when he's told to leave by law enforcement, I, I, I can't. Not, I can't speak to that. Um, that, that's an issue. What I just, I could, I thought I might just be able to give you some insight. On, on I understand. If you look at it from the broadcaster's side, the reporter did nothing wrong. He was just following orders, and he knew he was following the Constitution as well. Governor DeWine did not know that the reporter was making this request, nor did he ask that the reporter cease his live broadcast, according to his office. We are unable to comment on the circumstances leading up to the reporter's arrest because the governor was not present when the broadcast concluded. All charges on the journalist were dropped after the news broke of his arrest. This last case had one arrogant major who got battered by the public's opinions, but this next one had a female cop that was beyond dumb. That's not my problem. You clearly do. An angry female cop approached an unidentified person who was just strolling about Jacksonville. Is there a reason I'm doing a job? Yeah, to make money. Okay. Uh, people have just been calling just thinking it's kind of weird. It's journalism. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's protected under the First Amendment, so... Uh, I'm not saying you're not Sorry about that. All right, hold on. Hold on. Am I being detained? Yeah, right now. For what? For which, for which crime? So I'm further investigating why you're walking around. 
What crime? That's not a crime. Walking around isn't a crime. You have to articulate a crime before you can detain me. Supervisor. Supervisor. Yep. You can't detain just anyone. You have to articulate a crime. You're incorrect. Get your supervisor and let's, let's find out. He's probably the type to run from real challenges, opting instead to pick on innocent civilians over the most trivial matters. But you are failure, you're not identifying yourself, you're refusing? What crime have I committed? So at the end of the day, if law It's not the end, this is the beginning. Me for a sec. So if law enforcement requests your identification, right? Your name, your date of birth, your ID card, your driver's license number, you are obligated to give that to law enforcement. No, you're not. Okay. Not yes, unless you can law. articulate a crime. So I can articulate... Walking is around is not behavior. suspicious. Isn't a crime. Okay, but it is something we have to investigate. It's not a crime, so I don't have to comply with anything. I don't have to help you help you in your investigation. Okay. Well, I am asking you to identify yourself. You are refusing. I haven't committed a crime. That doesn't matter. You it does matter. No, I do not. Okay. Hello, sir. How Name and badge number, please. Uh, my name is Corporal Tim Bureau. My officer number is six seven four. Thank you. Jackson, Thank you. Do you live around here? I'm not answering any questions. Thank you. Am I free to go? Yeah, you've been free to go this whole time. And she told me I've been detained. Oh, okay. Twice now. So I'm detained? Well, you want a supervisor. Am I, am I detained? I'm trying to identify you. That's not happening. Am I detained? Well, at the end of the day, I'm trying to identify you. That's, that's not my problem. I don't have to further your investigation for you. That's your job. Knowing fully well that she could not lawfully hold him, she attempted to sidestep the subject at hand. In the meantime, another officer, maybe sensing the absurdity of the situation, signaled to our buddy that he might go. Apparently you have no idea how it works. You can't walk up to a, a citizen not committing a crime and demand ID. That's that's not how this works. Okay. You know the law I do, actually. It turns out that I do. You see, I'm a journalist. <laughs> well, how is that obvious? I'm gathering content for a story. Who else everybody does that? Do mechanics do that? Excuse me? I said everybody with a cell phone isn't a journalist. Uh, if they choose to be, they are. It's in the Constitution. Okay. Cell phones make you a journalist? If, the, if that's what you choose to do, yeah. Okay. This arrogant cop thought he was being clever, but anybody may videotape on public land without facing legal repercussions because of the First Amendment. This friend of ours maintains his position and strikes their ego really hard. These police officers' ignorance of the rules they're tasked with enforcing is quite disgraceful. Not in court, sir. We can be very easily. I would like to avoid that. I, I would rather not because this is going to keep happening until you guys are taught a lesson. What's that, sir? That you, can't, you that you can't bully people into giving ID when you don't, have, you don't suspect a crime. Sure. No, nobody is trying to bully you into anything. She just told me she could take me to jail if I don't give her my ID. What she's trying to make you sure you understand is when law enforcement are investigating they can investigate whatever you want. You have to suspect me of a crime. Is this where our taxes go these days? Truly despicable. Right now you're detained. Okay. For what for what crime do you suspect me because of? Because she's following up on investigation. What crime do you suspect me of? Suspicious activity. It's not so suspicion is a crime. Are you gonna give her your name and information? No. Turn off the James Brown. Okay. This man here was wrongfully detained, arrested, and later charged with resisting a public safety officer and obstructing an investigation. And now an innocent guy who was simply out on a walk has to deal with a criminal record for the rest of his life. If you thought cops behave like d in the street, you'd be surprised to know that you'll find them at the police stations too. Yeah, sir, I have paperwork to turn in. Don't walk away from me. Don't you tell me what to do. Sir, you're a public servant, I'm telling you. This auditor filed a complaint about their heedless activities at the Maryland Capitol Police Headquarters in Annapolis. This is an authorized and legitimate activity. However, he is taken aback by what he discovers as soon as he enters the building. Uh, yep. So I was here uh, a couple weeks ago, and I turned this in, and it wasn't... Uh... Hold on, hold on. Let me get a police officer for you. Okay. I have a seat right here. What's your name? I'd rather not give that. Well, the name's on your complaint, right? No, it's not. Absolutely. Okay. So what's that supposed to mean? I'm not allowed to turn in my complaint now? It's not that you're not allowed to turn in your complaint. There's no one to accept it from you. Okay, well we're during business hours on a Tuesday afternoon, well, ma'am. Well this is session. Maryland General Assembly is in session right now. Uh-huh, right down the street. Of, the uh -huh. Okay, well, we're rally, well, so. we're gonna have to call one over here to do the job, ma'am. Well, you, you can't, talk, you don't talk to me like that. I'm not a police officer. Okay, I'm trying to assist you. I'm not talking to you like anything. I'm just saying you're gonna have to call a police officer down here. You can't deny me a public services, ma'am. Well, you're telling me there's no sergeant to come down here and do the job. 
I'll sit over here and ring the doorbell. Man. How about that? So what you're saying is there is a sergeant here. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's explain a big lie before you come out here, because you just told me there's no sergeant here. So how are you speaking to a sergeant? How are you speaking to a sergeant then, ma'am? How are you speaking to a sergeant if there's not one here? You want to answer that question? How are you speaking to a sergeant if there's not a sergeant here? Hi, sir. Hi, who are you, ma'am? I'm Sergeant Alexander. Sergeant Alexander, can you tell me why this lady just lied to me and said there's no sergeant here in the building? What does this actually mean? Can you tell me? Uh, I, the first thing I need is you to tell me why she just lied to me and told me there's no sergeant in the building. Okay, well, I said that could handle your issue. No, you said there's no sergeant here. No, I said that could handle Ma'am, it's all on videotape. If you want to sit down and go over it, we can sit down and go over it and you can see where you're wrong. The receptionist immediately puts up unwarranted opposition to the auditor. She doesn't even know who he is or what he wants, yet she still behaves so badly. It begs the question of how awful the rest of her squad is. And regardless, it's during business hours on a, on a business day. There has to be somebody to accept this. So then why does she say he wasn't here? Why did she say he wasn't here then? What is the issue? I'm trying to turn in paperwork. I don't know why the lady that came out there who was originally going to help me came out and said, oh, there's no sergeant here to help you, so... And just shook her... So... Okay. So well, what is that supposed to mean? Well, I'm just saying they're all on legislation, so... We were. Okay, so what is that... You got down here pretty quick, didn't you? There's another door. You got down here pretty quick for being in legislation, aren't you? Do you, have a problem? you see how quick I do have a problem. You see how quick you got down here when you thought that I was causing a disturbance or when someone cried to call oh, you down here, voice. but nobody could come down here to help me two seconds ago. Yeah, sir, I have paperwork to turn in. Don't walk away from me. Don't you tell me what to do. Sir, you're a public servant. I'm telling you. No, you're not telling me. I'm you. telling you. Do you want to get arrested again? Uh, sir, I'm doing, pro sir, this is legal. Can you give me the papers. Yeah, it, it's going to be date, it's going to be date, stamp, and a copy to return to me. I have a date stamp. Well, yeah, that, that's how it's done, sir. That's the official way it's done. You can't change protocol. You can't change protocol just because you don't want to deal with me, sir. I do want to deal with you. Okay, then please. I need these stamped, copy and return to me. To I need a date stamp. You guys have that. Where? Back in the office, sir. We're the only one. Every police right station now. has that. Can I see what you're talking about? No, you can get a date thing and you can come out here no, and then you can no, stamp no, no. my We're paperwork. One of two ways. You either cooperate. Well, with no, me. sir. There's only one way you're this is handled. You either going to cooperate with me. Sir, there's or a legal. Sir, there's a legal way of doing this. Okay. So then, why is it that I'm asking them to simply stamp it, sir? I'm asking them to stamp it as received. At last, an officer recognizes the existence of a received stamp. I'm not sure why, but this person is able to recognize it and take care of it for him. Ma'am, I'm I'm doing legal business. Come with me. I was told oh, by the commissioner that I could do this. This right. is legal business. I have that? legal business. Come with me. No, ma'am, I'm. This is legal business. I'm, I'm in a public person. lobby. I'm going to be here and I'm going to help you. Okay. Outside because you're We're, disturbing. I'm not disturbing flow. anything, ma'am. You're disturbing. No, the I'm not, ma'am. I'm asking them to do their job. They're disturbing it I'm by here, refusing me services, ma'am. What do you need? I need these stamped and returned to me. Simply see how she is pushing the cops aside to make room for herself. She is obviously angry that she has to help this person and deal with him. She's totally engulfed in corruption. I need these done properly. I'm not interfering with the flow of business. They're refusing to do it. Hey, I want two sergeants here and the lieutenant. That's it. Everyone else can go. What's up, Barnes? How you doing, buddy? Good, man. How you doing? Good. I'm hanging in there, buddy. I'm hanging in there. I'm trying to fill out complaints for what happened that day, but they're like they're being ignorant about it. So why is it they can't come down here pretty quick to try and help me? I didn't even. I did, because you came in here huffing and puffing, sir. Huffing and puffing? You, 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 you threatened three times. You. you threatened three times to arrest me. You said you can leave or you're going to be arrested. So that's how I thought you were going to arrest me because you said it, sir. It came out of your mouth. That's why I thought that. Thank you. You might want to look at your camera. I have it. You might want to look at that. You might want to look at it. All right, that's not. Get him out of here. Go on. Get him out of here. I'm waiting for my paperwork, sir. Get, go outside. No, you. sir. This is a public lobby. Michael Wilson, the head of police, arrives on the scene. Watch how naive he is about the auditor while he conducts a legitimate audit. He just can't seem to get that it's permissible to file a complaint against a public official. Business, sir. You have been told three times not and to I'm waiting listen, for look the, at me. And I've been, been told by the commissioner to that if I have legal business, have I can come in this office, sir. You have been told three times not to trespass I'm into this building I'm doing because legal you business. create a problem when I'm you're here. I'm doing legal business, Now sir. I'm telling you to leave the building. I'm doing legal business, If you don't sir. leave the building, you're going to get arrested I'm doing, again. I'm doing legal and business, again, sir. And again, and again. I'm doing you're legal not business, to come sir. back here. I'm doing it's legal, business, legal business, sir. It is, sir. Get out or get locked up. I have a right. Put it, lock him up. Sir, I have a right to file You're grievances. You're for trespassing. No, I'm not. Yeah, you Rebecca, are. Rebecca, can you just please give me my paperwork so I can leave? That's too late for that. 
Yes, sir. Uh, Rebecca, what is going on out here? You're under arrest for trespass. I'm not, sir. I'm doing legal business. You've been told to I'm waiting for my paperwork so I can leave. Ma'am, please. That's all I'm waiting for so I can leave. That's, sir, I'm going to come back here. This is a, I have a right to file these complaints, sir. Yeah, yeah, my cell phone. No. My keys, my cell phone, my wallet. I don't understand why I'm being arrested. I literally, okay. Sir, I was told that if I had legal business, sir, if I was, I have a legal right to be here if I'm filing a grievance, sir. I'm filing a grievance, sir. Sir, I'm filing a grievance. I'm allowed here. Sir, this, this is a violation of 18 code US 242. It's a deprivation of public services. I have a right to file grievances with my government, sir. I was told by the commissioner when you got when he when he arrested me unlawfully out here last time and lied upon me and I was taking the commissioner. Uh -huh. I asked them, well, how is it that I can come back here to do this because I need? And they said you are allowed back there if you have legal and lawful business. They told me that filing this complaint is legal and lawful business. So how is it that I'm being trespassed or how is it I'm being arrested for trespassing if I have a complaint that I filled out and filed? Your initial time that you came in, uh -huh. you you were um, trying to get. An investigation started. I was on. trying to find out why my uh, tags have been taken off my car. I got you. I got you. And that's when I was arrested down here. Is this the second time you've, you've filled out this paperwork? Who'd you fill it out on the first time? The, on, you can see both of them right same there. Is this no, the not the same thing. No, they're for different incidents, different, different days, oh, I different you. incidents. I got you. I, got you. I, I got filled you. out different incident forms for different days. So, so I didn't the, want to put five incidents on I'm one saying, thing, you know I'm what I mean? So yeah, that's yeah. why. Yeah. So the first one was for the tags and all that stuff. Yeah. All that justification for nothing. The cops are incapable of thinking with their own brains because they are powered drunk. They are only stealing citizen rights and enforcing an authoritarian system. No, I haven't been banned. I haven't been banned, sir. You can't ban someone from doing a constitutionally protected activity. I have a right to file this, sir. You're right. I can't come here and just sit down and chill in the office. I can't go in there and do the security card process in the right. center. Mr. Salt, are you going to allow me to to you real quick. I would rather not speak to you, sir. Okay, well, that's fine. You can hear me. The auditor reportedly endangered the officer's safety, so he was placed under arrest with a $1,000 bail. He was sent to the Anne Arundel County Detention Center in Annapolis, Maryland, which is located on Jennifer Road. The police succeeded in getting the commissioner to hold him by writing the report to the best of their abilities. This guy's luck is not good. But what happens when words turn into violence? Have a look at these cops resorting to violence with an innocent mother. On July 27, 2018, Lilia Matina was just dropping her child off at the local PD for a custody change in Ohio. And that was when she had an unfortunate run-in with the police. She tried to resist at first, but it was not well received by these corrupt cops. One of them didn't even waste time to subjugate her to the road. So much so, even her mother followed in worry. As if dragging the poor woman away was not enough, they even took her inside and pinned her against the wall. And for what reason? She simply recorded a custody exchange of her own child.
Good old Greg. Leaning forward. How can this justify subjecting her to such excruciating restraints? Four officers against a single woman who's not even a criminal. They're nothing but a pack of pigs. And this tone that they use next, despite manhandling the poor woman, will show exactly that. After what this mother endured that day, she had no choice but to file an official lawsuit citing the officers for excessive force, wrongful arrest, malicious prosecution, and engaging in a civil conspiracy with her ex-husband, who wanted to enact revenge for her role in his 2015 arrest on domestic violence and kidnapping charges. But these officers aren't the only ones who pile up on innocent citizens when threatened by a mere camera. We've got a whole bunch of officers rearing to stomp on people's rights in the next case. Over me, I don't like I'm not. I'm speaking to you in my normal voice. You have no authority over me. Okay? Actually, I do. In December 2021, a YouTube auditor, Sean, also known as Long Island Audit, visited the town hall in Ramapo, New York, to practice his First Amendment right to film in public. However, not one but many cops are not too keen on the idea. Today we are at the town hall here in Ramapo, New York. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants treat us with respect and respect our rights. Let's get into it. Excuse me? You need a mask. No one else? Has, she doesn't have a mask. They don't have masks. They don't have masks, ma'am. But they don't have masks. How can you? just came out the office. Okay. So what does that mean? Why you? Don't videotape me. What? I'm, I'm, a, I'm going to videotape you. Why? For sure. Because I. that's what I do. Transparency and accountability, ma'am. You need a mask. Okay, let me call the You can call whoever you'd like, ma'am. The initial roadblock in his way was this woman, oozing entitlement for no apparent reason. Despite others passing by in masks, she fixated on Sean. No doubt, she was gearing up to dial the cops. But as if she weren't enough, Sean barely had time to blink before running into yet another one of her kind. Sir? Yes, ma'am. Are, are you videotaping? I am videotaping. That's correct. What happened? What Why do you mean? You Why? Yeah. I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story. Who are you? I'm Penny Mann. I work in the supervisor's office. Penny? Yes. Mann? Yes. You work in the supervisor's office? Yeah. Okay. And um, you can't videotape in here. Why can't Why can't I videotape in here? It's not legal to videotape in here. It's not legal? No. Oh, do you have business here? I'll put it that way to you. Do you have business here? Yeah, of course I have business here. Okay. What is it? This is a public building, ma'am. I don't. I, why I would I need to that. explain to you my I, business I here? I understand that. And you get no argument from Okay. This is a public building. Okay, great. I'm glad we can agree on that. Exactly. So, do you have business here? Is there an office that you're going to? There's a smile on her face, but she's definitely hinting on get lost. It's these kinds of Karens who get on your nerves the most. Of course you're allowed to film there. It's no one's breach of privacy since it's a public building. But these people don't seem to get that. So it is a public building. So it's open to, to the public. Loiter. It's you not loitering. Loiter. I just told you I'm an independent journalist. Uh, okay. I have freedom so of press, man. Do ma you have a reason to be here? Yes, I do. I just told you. I'm an you independent said, journalist. Your hat says, We the People. We the People. Yes, my hat. You like we're, it? We're all the, I, love this, I love the hat. Actually. Okay, great. I'm happy. We're all the people. Thank you. you can grab me one if you want, if we're all going to follow the rules now. Why are you taking them? Let me ask you that. I, I, I just, I don't I know. I feel like we're going around a circle. I'm an independent no. journalist working on a story. Okay. What is your story? My story, I, I don't want to divulge that until it's published. Okay. I don't want to divulge that. Not, not right now, this time. 
Thank you, ma'am. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It seems that Sean's camera was a bigger issue for the people than, let's say, actual criminals. Because look what they do next. I'm sorry? You charge for pictures? You, you charge for pictures? How much? <laughs> Don't say nothing. You charge for pictures? For you? For me? Who? Who? These three officers over here? Excuse me? You can stay right there. I don't need to approach you? No, you can stay right back there. You can walk back that way. Ma'am. You can, can you... walk back that way. Yeah. Keep walking wanna... back that way. Can you de-escalate a little bit? Because I feel like you're trying to just exert your authority over me and I don't like I'm it. I'm not. While asking Sean to keep a distance, this woman really did end up all in his face. Those women from before and this officer are just two peas in a pod. They don't mind throwing themselves at you, but will be butthurt over a camera. Voice. You have no authority over me. Okay. Actually, I do. I'm in a public building. I'm conducting and lawful business. They're asking you to leave. I'm conducting lawful business. No, they didn't. That's yes, a lie. Yes, they did. They did not ask me to they leave. They asked you to leave, and they said that you're no longer allowed to be I'm here. I'm conducting so business. So therefore, you need to leave the location. I'm conducting business. I'm doing a Freedom of Information Act request. They asked you to leave. And so you're saying, can I get a supervisor here? I'm conducting lawful business. I'm an okay. independent journalist, okay. exercising my freedom of freedom of press right. Okay. It's a right, not a privilege. Well, right now, we were called here by the people who work in this office building. Okay. They are concerned for their safety and their well-being that there is somebody in here. They've asked you to step out and to leave and to stop they did, the video. They did not. Here. I have it on camera. They did not ask me to leave. Okay. Well, that's what they're relaying to us. Okay, so that's a that lie. That's why we are here right now. I'm not going to dispute truth or fact right now. I'm going to tell you that is why we're here right now. We are going to conduct our investigation. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Conduct whatever to, investigation you like. for your ID. Because we do need to know who we're speaking with right now. You're gonna ask for That's my ID. Part, yes, I so am. So in That's order, part of our investigation. okay. In order for me, for, I just want to just, I, I, I listen to you, so I'd ask you just listen to me. I don't need to assist you in your investigation. I don't work for the police department. Uh -huh. I don't want to assist you in your investigation into me for whatever reason. Do you have a crime that you suspect me of committing? Do you we have are reasonable, here, articulable we are here suspicion? On an investigation of a complaint. Yes. Do you have reasonable, articulable suspicion I've committed a crime? We're not saying that you committed a crime. We are here to investigate a complaint right now. It's like the blind leading the blind. Even the supervisor is clueless about their own laws. Not even one person in the force to educate the others. Such a shame, honestly. Then I'm going to ask you to step out of this building and to leave this building. I'm conducting business, ma'am. Okay, at this point you were asked that, that you were not allowed welcome here anymore. And we were going to ask you to But you can't speech. stop somebody from recording. You can't okay. stop somebody I'm, from, from gathering. I never asked you to stop recording. That is not what I've asked you to do. I asked You're you asking to me to leave the, a public are, building, ma'am. Yes, no Can I get your name? This building, no. My name is Sergeant Mayor. Sergeant Mayor and your badge number? Yes, 456. 456. And are you telling me that if I don't leave this building, you're going to arrest me? I'm telling you right now that you're going to leave this building. Yes. No, but okay, I just, I just want to know. I said I'm not going to, to argue with you back and forth. Let's step outside. Are you an attorney, sir? Maybe, maybe I can speak to you and we can we can come to a better understanding here. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to speak to you while you're filming me. You're free to film me, but I'm not going to have a discussion on camera with I'm you. I'm an independent journalist. Yeah, That's but you're wonderful. violating my, but your officers, you're the supervisor, so I just want to let you know you're opening yourself up to civil, and you said you're a lawyer, you're opening yourself to civil litigation. All I'm doing is I'm peacefully filming. I'm not bothering anybody. I have to do a FOIL request with the town clerk's office. I have official business here. I'm exercising my constitutional right. That's all I'm doing, peacefully. And you're gonna kick me out of a public building? I'm gonna ask you to give me one minute. No, okay, great, no problem. Surprisingly, they were this dumb, even with a lawyer by their side. I don't know if that was worse or the fact that he openly walked out in fear of confrontation. So we've got hypocrite cops and cowardly lawyers that are responsible for keeping us safe, but looks like we're getting kicked out of the building for now. You guys really don't have nothing better to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight yes. officers for one man with a camera. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not. I'm not nefarious. I don't have any ill intent here. I don't understand. What's the big deal? Somebody can't film. You have cameras. One, two, three, four, five, six cameras, all over this building. What's the difference? I don't understand. Seems like a big waste of resources for your city here. What you say? Can I get your name and badge number, please? Oh yeah. Uh, my last name's Mitchell. Mitchell. Yeah. And your badge number? Four nine six. Thank you, Mitchell. Can I get your name? No, I'm not going to give it. No. What yeah, are you here I'm for? In, I just showed up. I don't even know what's going on. I'm in fear of retaliation, so I'm not going to give my name. It's my Fourth Amendment right. Oh. No, I'm just here. I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story, doing a Freedom of Information Act request. That's all I'm doing here. What'd they call us? I don't know, because, I'm, because I have a camera in my hand. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. doesn't make sense to me either. While Sean was having a friendly chat with the other cops, there was still one Karen in the bunch who tried to intimidate him. You know the funny part is that it's not that mean supervisor we previously saw. The whole precinct is corrupt as hell. 
Excuse me? You are in an area. Am I being detained? You are being asked to stay here for our investigation. Am I being detained? You are temporarily being detained as, okay. we, as we commit our investigation. Unlawful detainment. You can call it how you... It is an unlawful... You have to learn the law. If you're going to uphold the law, you took an oath to the Constitution. Freedom of press is part of the Constitution. You have to, if you're going to uphold it, you have to learn it. This is an illegal detainment. You can't detain me unless, you've, unless you suspect that I'm committing a crime. This is all things you should have learned in the academy. And as a supervisor, I think that's, you know, you should really know. You cannot detain somebody legally without you having uh, suspected me of committing a crime. It's a good thing they're wearing masks. I would be hella embarrassed if someone else comes and schools me about my own job. Thank you, Lieutenant. You guys are dismissed. Please don't detain me unlawfully anymore. No one's detaining you. She, no, 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 no. No. I, if he's not doing anything illegal or dangerous or disruptive, exactly. that's fine with me. It's, it's okay. my right to be in this building. All right. As long as he this is a taxpayer's building. The rules, then this is a taxpayer's okay. building. Right. Okay but thank you very much. much. And, and by the way, she did detain me. Oh, Just so you know. Yeah. Just so you know, it's on it's on it's on camera. She okay. did detain me, well, so that's an unlawful detainment. Well, I'm not gonna detain you, but okay, that's all is. great. Take care, guys. This is the biggest uh, walk of shame I've ever seen. Completely insane, uncalled for. Sean did end up filing a complaint against the officers to teach them a lesson, so no other citizen can get bullied for what they're practicing. But these officers aren't the only ones that have a problem with citizens. This next cop takes it to another level by racially profiling a seemingly normal person. Sir, turn around. I'm done. So you're going to arrest me? I'm detaining well, you. Uh, for, for what? For what? On October 29th, 2018, West Des Moines police officer Clint Ray responded to a call of a suspicious person going door to door handing out flyers. The cop finds the man, who is a Republican campaign worker, Keelon Hill, campaigning for U.S. Rep. David Young. Hi, sir. Yes, I'm Officer at the West Moines Police Department. Um, the reason why I'm talking to you today is someone called in about you. Are, are you just handing out flyers? What, what, what am I doing wrong? I didn't know, I, people were concerned. Yeah, concerned for what? Their neighborhoods. Hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second, Ricky. So it's not a big deal? Yeah, no, I'm just trying to figure out what we were concerned about. Well, in West Des Moines, we have a soliciting ordinance, so if you're knocking on people's doors... Yeah, soliciting is what? Offering services? Yeah. I'm not offering a service. Okay. Okay, so with that being said, I'd like you to leave me alone, sir. I have not broken any laws. Well, I'm still doing an investigation, because if you're recording and, and, me, I'm still and, recording, too, so it's okay. Investigating what, sir? A suspicious person. They, they called in about you. Okay. Do you have, your, do you have an ID with you? No, I don't. Do you have your name? Can I have your name? No. <laughs> Am I under arrest? No. Okay. So well, I'm investigating. Arrest, then you what? have no reason to be talking to me, right? I sure I can. Right. Actually, yes. You're a suspicious person. Someone suspicious, called in about suspicious how? Someone, a neighbor, a neighbor called called over here. So I don't understand why you're being difficult. It's baffling how easily some officers jump to conclusions based solely on a vague suspicion. Is it really that simple to lead them astray? Okay. So with that being said, I'll go about my business. Up. Okay, I'm not done with you yet. You're not free to go. Have I done it? Have I broken any laws? Can you send me one this way, please? He's have I broken any laws, sir? I'm talking to you. I'm not done. I'm I'm investigating a suspicious person. You have a nice day, sir. If Stop. Stop now. For what? I can detain you. Stop. For what? Because you're not listening. I'm investigating nope. a suspicious if, person. Stop sir, now. Sir, have I have I broken any laws? Stop. Tell me what laws I've broken. I told you to stop. I don't have to stop. Yes. You know you I will. don't. Either arrest me, tell me what 55. laws I've broken, can you or step, get away from step it up. He's being uncooperative and trying to walk away from me. He won't <laughs> identify himself as a suspicious no, person I, I'm investigating. I, I know my rights. I know my rights. That's a phrase officers dread hearing. For what? You're not listening. I'm doing an investigation of a suspicious what? person. A uh, suspicious person? Have I broken yeah. any laws? Does it, it doesn't, that's have not I the point. Have I broken any laws? Someone called you and it's a suspicious person. Okay, and? You and can be means, a suspicious person, Mr. Really? Ray. Really? I, I feel like you're a suspicious person. How would I be suspicious? You look suspicious to me. Okay, how would that be? I'm gonna mark you You're a white card. man. You're, you're, you're uh, suspicious to me. I'm suspicious to you because yeah. I'm a white person? Yeah, with a gun. You're suspicious to me. No, now stop. He'll use Ray's own logic against him, but it still didn't make sense to him. Listen to me. I'm going to tell you one I more time. I don't care who you work for. You don't care who I work for. The person I work for pays you. So I'm, yeah, I'm going to tell fine. you one more time to get away from me. Leave me alone. You're gonna, you're so gonna, leave me alone. Get away from me. Actually, that being, yes, I can. For what? Because you're not listening to my directions. You're not following me. Turn Sir. Around. I know. Sir. Just turn around. I'm done. So you're going to arrest me. 
I'm detaining for, you. Uh, for, for what? For what? Be for, for what? For what? This cop was really not using his mind. I guess most of it was utilized in finding his next racial target for the day. I'm done. So you're gonna arrest me? I'm detaining for, you. Uh, for, for what? For what? Be resistive. For, for what? Because you're not listening to what I'm saying. Do not be resistive towards me. All right. I'll back my car. <laughs> All right. You 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 done. I'm detained. It. You have done it. I ask you to identify for yourself what? because you're. I'm investing a suspicious person. Someone right. had someone so, had worry. Worried about what? Have I have I tried to enter anyone's property? They were concerned. So yes, you're gonna. Okay. No, I have not. Show me, show me evidence where I've entered someone's property. And evidence is exactly what Ray had none of. Sad to see that cops forget the investigation part of their investigation and just stoop to pure intimidation. Just you let me out of these handcuffs immediately. Well, Sorry, you, could, could, you, could you tell him to, to take me out of these handcuffs? I have not broken any laws. Okay, did you stop when he told you to? No, he kept yeah. walking okay, away. Then that's interference, so you're under arrest. Have In, interference for what? Interference, you just disobeyed you were a lawful sit, order. You were sitting right there and I told you to stop four or five times to identify yourself because there was a suspicious Sorry. person car and I'm investigating that. Investigating what? I have not done anything. Okay. You he, can't just run up on a, on anyone and just say, hey, you're, you look okay. suspicious. Okay. He told you to stop, he didn't. And we had calls this, on this you, like I told you. You're practicing stop and frisk right now. I've not no. Done no, you're under arrest. So. Under arrest for what? Under arrest for what? What have I done wrong? Two dumb cops are better than one, I guess. Not only did this other cop fully agree with Ray, he told Hill that he was under arrest and frisked him without any consent. You didn't identify yourself. Okay. You didn't stop when he asked you to. Okay. Okay, okay right. this is what I'm asking. That's all I'm all asking right. for is your name all and right. date of birth, man. All right, okay. So I can lock someone. Okay. So what's the... what? What's the issue here, man? There is an issue. I haven't done here. anything wrong to Sit you. back here. I have not done a, a thing Why wrong. Why would you not listen to me? Because I have not done anything wrong, sir. Could you let me out of these handcuffs immediately. Sit back here. Okay. All the way in. I just want to log him and get him out of here because people were concerned because he was... Put him in custody. If he's going to walk away, don't, don't let him uh, play that game because he's just going to keep playing it next time. He's going to think that he can now walk away from cops, but if he doesn't want to stop, he just doesn't have to. As the two fools support each other's dumb logic, Ray arrested Hill on a charge of harassment of a public official, which basically alleges Hill interfered with Ray's ability to investigate the report. And remember, all of this was set in motion by a highly speculative call to police. Hill was acquitted of misdemeanor, according to his lawyer, Gina Messimer. In November, Iowa Citizens for Community Improvement officials claimed the incident was a case of racial profiling. Sergeant Dan Wade defended Ray, saying that's what was expected of him. This absolutely was above board. The, the officer interacted in a way that, and in this case, we've determined that the officer did nothing wrong. We determined our officer did nothing wrong. These incidents show how easily power is abused in our country. It's sad that we need these examples to see the problems with law enforcement. What would you suggest to such corrupt officers? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. This is Detective Mystery, signing off.